Hey everyone, this is Will with the Bomber Strap Channel. In this episode, we're gonna cover communication relative to the Baofeng. And that was a topic I didn't get into because I talked about radio usage relative to types of activity. And in this case, it was a great example of how to identify what type of radio you should use given a certain activity and basically what price points you should look at and what products. And that would of course save you a lot of time and money in researching products that you may not need. So in this particular instance, we're gonna dive into more of an instructional video format where we're gonna dive into how to connect to a repeater and how to split channels for the purpose of extending communication, granted through repeaters, and then also how to privatize your communication a little bit more in the wilderness through split channel usage. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to split channels uh, the easy way. Uh, so what you wanna do is go into frequency, frequency mode. mode. You're gonna put in the frequency that you want as your primary channel. And in this case, we did four, four six, six, five, 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 five. five. You're gonna save that menu. under your menu, option 27. Memory and channel. we chose, um, Channel 40, because that's an empty uh, empty channel. So we're going to do that and to save it, Transmitting memory. we back out. And it, you'll notice that there's no plus or minus up top. Everything's been cleared out in terms of offset. Um, you can have a designated uh, PL tone if you so choose. But uh, what I've done now is this frequency is programmed uh, on channel 40. Now, to do the offset, um, and to split the channel, uh, when I hit the push to talk, I want it to jump to a different frequency, preferably something that's further away from this. So in this case, I would four, enter 465. Six, just again, I'm just moving zero, zero, zero. this channel further away from the one that I um, programmed in there. So then I would hit menu, menu. 27, uh, go down to menu, menu do 40. And what I'm doing is I'm saving that over the existing one. Okay, and it's not saved until you... Hit that, and then you're exiting out. So if I go channel into channel mode, uh, here I am at channel 40, 465, 555. If I hit the push to talk, watch it jump. It'll jump and jump to 465000. All right, so what you'll do is you'll do the opposite to the other radio that you want your buddy to have. And the way you do that, just for uh, demonstration purposes, is again, go into frequency mode. You're going to do not this channel, but you'll do the 465000 channel, okay? Because you want to hear on this one. And to program that, you're going to hit menu 27, which it's at. You're going to jump down to menu, save that at channel 40 for simplicity purposes. So you're both on channel 40. Save that, exit. Now we have 465000 saved in channel 40. You can confirm by jumping to your channel mode and here you can see it outlined, right? So um, let's get back into frequency mode. Now what we wanna do is change the transmit channel to 465555. So 465555, menu 27, save it under channel 40. Boom, we did it, confirm, okay. Great, exit, and then we're gonna get back to channel mode. Now, if you notice, I have four, six, five, triple zero. Um, when I hit the push to talk here, that's what it's gonna to transmit to. So, boom, you can see it light up, it turns green. Okay, um, what about this one? It's four, six, five, triple zero. Um, here we go, boom, uh, it jumps to four, six, five, triple five, and it makes this one talk. So that's how you split channels. And that uh, privatizes communication a little bit better. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to um, get into a uh, repeater. So um, we wanna get into frequency mode and we wanna program our repeater station, which is 55000. This is our theoretical uh, repeater station. Uh, in most cases in the US, you have a positive um, offset, five megahertz. So let's just keep this in mind. And I'm gonna use this example for programming. Okay, so if you're programming, it's it's a little bit different than if you're just accessing the channel. But if you wanna program a repeater in, this is how you would do it on a Baofeng. All right, so uh, we wanna program this in. So let's do it. Menu. So, so menu, uh, we're gonna go to menu 27, which is on. Memory we're, channel. We're gonna do menu channel 41. 
Great. All right. Uh, we're going to lock that in. Receiving memory. Cool. We're going to bounce out of that. So we we'll just exit. Here we are. Um, better, better frequency uh, or theoretical frequency. Now, most repeater offsets are um, positive. Some will have a negative offset, but they're going to be at five megahertz, right? So what I've learned that you could do is just save over the existing uh uh, channel. So um, if we know that there's a positive five offset, we're going to go to four, six, zero, 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 zero. So uh, we're in frequency mode. Let's go ahead and do that. Four, four six, six, zero, 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 zero. 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 We're going to go into menu, menu. 27, menu, memory 41. Channel. We're going to save that. All right, cool. Now they're overlap, but what we haven't done yet in, in our channel mode here, right? Um, is we need to save um, the PL tone. We need to establish that. And the PL tone, uh, there's one for receiving and one for transmitting. And we need to set that up. Every PL tone will be different. Usually if you get a PL tone, it'll be the same PL tone for uh, the receive and transmit. To get there, um, you want to go into uh, menu. Menu. Um, you're gonna go into menu 11. This is your receive CTCS tone. Um, what you're gonna do is drop down the menu. You could adjust it as needed up or, or down um, depending on what it is, okay? Um, but once you know what it is, you're gonna program that and save it. So confirm. confirm it, right, cool. Next, what you want to do is do your uh, transmit tone. So menu 13. Menu. 13. Um, this is T, C, T, C, S for transmit. Jump down to menu. Yes, we want to save it to the same. It was at 67, right? So that's what we want to save it as because that's how these repeaters work. Confirm. Boom. All right, so that that's it. Uh, when we go in our channel mode, uh, if we hit our push to talk, uh, it's going to go to the repeater, uh, transmit on the CTCS tone, which will open up the repeater and transmit on a different frequency, which we have planned for it. So if it did indeed connect, um, you would hear the kerchunking and the green light would go off. But this is important because if you're programming repeaters, you want to follow this process. Um, it's different than if you were to not go through that programming process and set it up on a channel. So anyway, uh, that's how you do it. And those were the lessons, splitting channels, connecting to repeaters. Um, that was kind of the program for today's lesson, a continuation of our um, other video that we put out. And I got this nice case here to store these radios. Again, I'm not going to use them all the time, but when I need them, I want them ready for use. And then I know some people also like to store their radios in these Faraday bags, which is not a bad idea. Basically, it would protect it from EMF and, and uh, uh, electromagnetic pulse. So some people are doing that. Um, I'm not that worried. These are my backup uh, communication tools for anything off-grid, whether off-roading, uh, camping or just anytime we're going to be splitting up um, and we want to maintain communication. This is a great way to do it. So um, that's how I have it planned and set up. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on the Baofeng and until next time.